Here's some, I, I, I'll never forget this. We were living in Maple Heights. And, uh, you know, I built you a basketball hoop and paint, painted the, the court out there. Yeah, I remember that. That was actually kind of raw, and, blue and yellow. And I, and I was teaching, I had karate classes at, at the house there. Mm-hmm. You were outside playing, and you were small, and you had some of your friends in the neighborhood over. Yeah. And they kept, y'all came up with a game, and y'all playing a game, but every time you got the ball, they changed the rules. Every be- single time. Because you were smaller. Yeah. And I'm sitting there watching it, and you getting frustrated. Then I watched you. You went over to the guy that had the ball. He was bigger than you. You snatched the ball. You said, this is my ball, my house, my rules. <laughs> yep, 100%. That's what you said. And so the, the, the premise of that is when you own it, you make the rules. Mm-hmm. You know? And so if you have a mindset, you going in business with an employee mindset, you're not going to be successful. Yeah. You know, and I'm, and I think that I I put in for a couple of a managers positions, and I didn't get it. But my mindset was, if God, if if it's your will, allow me to get it. But every time I applied, I interviewed, and I didn't get it. Something else happened. Mm-hmm. The first time, that's when we start doing a podcast. Yeah, because and 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 that's when I started SoulNet Impact Consulting. Right. Because had I got that position, I'd have never did that. The yeah. last time when I interviewed for it, I didn't get it. That's where the opportunity came for me to be coaching the international team. Yeah. Dad, you know what happened after I snatched that ball? What? I got stung by a bee in my head and started crying. <laughs> <laughs> It's like we go home. This, this boy ain't crying, baby. We go home. You can keep the ball in your rules. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's why it's important. And I'm reading these verses here, and and for our listeners, it is important to go to scripture because a lot of things that we do, we we'll we'll say we pray to God, we'll ask God, but we do we really cry out to God? Because like the children of Israel, when they were faced with Pharaoh and at the Red Sea. They was in a predicament, right? They cried out to God. God answered them. And then afterwards, they start murmuring and grumbling and complaining. And so when Pastor Maiden said that today, he said, when you go to have success, there's failure on the other side. You're going through a valley. But you have to go through that to have another success. So don't quit. You must go through hardship to enter the kingdom of heaven. Acts 14 22. Uh, no, that's not Acts. That is yeah. definitely in Matthew. That's Acts. Wait, I hope that's in Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know why I hope that's in Matthew? Why? Because I told somebody this week it was in Matthew. <laughs> Go to Acts chapter 14. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, Wait I'm just going to pull it up like this. You go to Acts chapter 14. I'll pull it up. <laughs> What we say? What did you say with Matthews? Yeah, I thought it was like Matthew six. Mm-mm. I think that's I think that's Acts chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But read verse twenty-two. Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> what? Dad, I got some work to do this week. You, you, got some, you got some explaining to do. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoops, I, well, I apologize. I, I got these people in the wrong way. Hold on. Just for fun, let me go to the verse that I told them it was. I was all confident. I felt all good when I told them. Hold on. Yeah, because I remember I did a study on it. And when I had that part in the movie Rumble TV. Mm-hmm. And reading the script, they had me, you know, in the church scene. I was like, nah, we need to add this. I said, I said, if it's okay, can I add this to the script? And I and I and I did it. And they said, Yeah, do that. And it was Acts 14, 22. <laughs> um Oh shoot, you're right. Yeah, th- what I told them was Matthew s- chapter six, verse three, and it reads <laughs> But when you help a needy person, do it in such a way that even your closest friends will not know about it. <laughs> yeah, so not even. <laughs> you said the verse, but you had the wrong address. Yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, so hopefully, <laughs> there's not hopefully, but hopefully at the same time, there was one of those people that, you know, they hear you, but they don't go check it. <laughs> uh, they, they, that's why I said the Bereans are more noble than the Thessalonians because they check Paul daily by the word. Yeah, they would have checked me daily. <laughs> yeah, they would have checked me on that. I would have been... But I mean, we all do that. Sometimes I do that. You said on the podcast, I I said a verse, but it gave the wrong address. But yeah, man, I was thinking about those verses and I'm thinking about the situation um, that you in. And I was like, man, just for them to think about you. And all the people I can imagine the meetings they have in city councils and stuff about property that the city own. And for them to think about you and to give you, want to give you the building. Right. So so what are you gonna do? I told you what I told you what I was gonna do. Well, I'll tell you in detail off the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even tell nobody <laughs> about this whole all the ordeal and stuff. Cause I don't I don't really have I don't for the first building, right? Mm-hmm. I don't have the lease yet, so technically I don't know if I'm gonna be moving <clears throat> in there or not. But yeah, but I'm pre- talking about the second building. Much. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, man, for these to even think about you, because I know dealing in my industry, dealing with cities and, and officials on property and uh, the land and stuff, what they have to go through. Yeah, and they jumping through hoops for me, too. I, like They're like, <clears throat> they really trying to help me. And that's so, what I'm saying. That's nobody <clears throat> but God, D. And, right. and that's why you really got to honor him and go before him. And to ask him to guide you. And in doing so, because look, if he puts this path in your way for you to have this, he has something else to come to you to make it successful. Yeah. You look at, you know, how he got Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem, you know, how things had to go in place for that to happen. And all through scripture to do that. Yeah. So I don't, and I know you're not, but don't take it for granted. Yeah. You know, and the the people that will come in your place, you know, if this truly what God wants you to have and wants to do. And then you got to ask, OK, what is he doing this for? What does he want you to do in there? Hopefully God will guide my path to the barbershop. My <laughs> I can't post this one on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe he wants you to be like Samson. <laughs> the, the Nazarene, don't maybe, cut your hair. <laughs> maybe. It, it, it's looking rough. Yeah. It yeah. looked like it always looked to me. Oh, well, that's so cold. And my camera all jacked up. This is not a good day for me. But um, here's my takeaway for this episode. Um. As always, trust God, but trust God with his plans. And what I would say, too, is don't be afraid to go through a fast. Don't be afraid to go through a Bible study or even talk to people um, that you know that are biblically sound or like with people that are that's willing to open up the Bible with you. Not necessarily, but someone that's willing to open up the Bible with you. Talk about the things that you're kind of interested in doing and having them pray for you and with you just mm-hmm. to make sure that it's part of God's plans and direction for you. Cause like other people to me can be confirmation as well. And so, uh, I don't know. So those, that's my takeaway for this episode. My takeaway is, is that you want to get in the habit of consulting God. Um, there's many scriptures and, uh, that we see that, the children of Israel had success in battle and then they go on their own to battle without God and they're defeated. And so you always want to consult God and make sure God is with you in whatever you do. And you don't surround yourself with yes men and women. Mm-hmm. People just going to tell you good stuff all the time. Yeah, I hate that. I hate <clears> that people like, oh, you done so well. I'm like, no, yeah. it's stuff I need to try to do. And right. Here, let me. <clears throat> That's like as as we coach folks, I can't get an athlete better, whether it's in track and field, whether it's the sprint hurdles, whether it's in the martial arts. I can't get them better and say, oh, you're amazing. That was amazing what you did. No. I say, look, lifting your knee was great but your kick you need to develop that you need to work on this and then i i can see in some some of the younger kids when i'm focused on something they doesn't seem to be able to execute what i'm asking them to do they get frustrated 
but that's going to make you better. Yeah. So understand wise counsel, like it says in Proverbs, seek wise counsel in all that you do. And don't remember, oh, <clears throat> don't remember. <laughs> remember to um, download the app Salt That Life or Light, S O T E dot L I T E. Let me make sure I got that right, actually. Cause and hit the text line. Yeah, hit the text line too. Yeah, three, three, Salt zero. That Life, oh, S O T E dot L I F. Uh, salt dot life. So make sure you guys download that app and then start putting your content in. So What's the text number again? Three three zero three six six three six six two six three six. There you go. 